A common problem on the 123 estates after time is the failed tail struts, which allows the tail gauges to fall down in a dangerous and frustrating manner. So this is going to be how I replace these. To make it safer, just put a broom or something on the tailgate to hold this up. The internal cover has several visible screws. It comes off in a direction towards the rear of the car via two little clips, which you can see here. You can then see the struts at the top corner of the window with the boot open and supported. Uh, in this case, there were actually hornet's nests inside and that's what the white uh, debris is. Uh, gladly, the hornets are now gone many years. This little piercing in the roof liner does not permit access to the screw. I'm not quite sure what it was for, but if you try and get it through there, you will tear the lining. To start with, just remove that little circlip on the retaining bolt, um, and then the bolt can be skewered out in an outwards direction. So that you can see the little clip which you simply flick off the roof lining to pull it down which gives much better access to the 8mm Allen bolts. On one side I was lucky to get the Allen bolt out uh, as they were very very stubborn. I think these were the original set and I stripped these quite badly but one was able to be by stripped out. The strut can then be removed and you can see the poor state of this one and further hornet's nest on the driver's side. The passenger's side bolt was badly stripped as I tried to get this out without dropping a roof line to start with and after trying to heat this, this provided no benefit. I then moved on to drilling the internal aspect of this out and placing an extractor screw into this. This initially showed promise until the extractor screw sheared off. Note that the extractor screws go in in a reverse manner, but then to actually back out the screw, you actually need to go in a clockwise manner. The technique that actually got it going was to drill a small hole in the outside lip of the bolt and then hammer away with a straight screwdriver in a counterclockwise direction. Um, this is very slow, but it did actually loosen it. The use of a vice grip on these is not possible because they are flush with the into a recess and you therefore can't get one on. Um, so this technique actually got the screw moving. Now this was very slow moving and I then tried some gravit tools which basically drill in and then lock into the screw. Whilst they didn't do their actual full job uh, with the use of the drill or impact driver, I was able to actually uh, wrench these out then once they lodged in the screw. So here's the new and old struts. The, new, the old strut looking like it was from 1979 and the new strut made just last year. So here's several new parts uh, which also need to be purchased including the bolts, the cir little circlips with associated part numbers and the washers, crush washers for the bolts. Interestingly, the bolts are no longer Allen bolts, but actually spline patterns. And for this, I found you needed an M8 style uh, ratchet attachment.
once the new bolts are in, the circlet goes on and to position this, uh, it's better to lift the tailgate uh, almost up to its extremity and this helps line it up to get the bolt in a fair bit easier. So removing the strip bolt took a great many hours whilst the non-seized bolt was quite straightforward. The tailgate now, when open, wants to open itself and maintain an open position. And once it gets to a sufficiently low position, it will close itself. 